Hello there, brethren. Welcome back. This will be part 12. This will be part 12 of this video series. I do apologize. I actually ran out of time in the last video segment, in the 11th part video segment, and so the camera c cut off from its recording process. The, re the recording process was cut short, and so basically, uh, it was as I was still doing the, the teaching, as I was still, you know, making my point, the the video recording, the video recording suddenly stopped, and so I ran out of time. So again, I apologize for that. So I'll go ahead and just continue here where I left off, at. and that was basically, you know, I was asking those of you out there that have watched this video, they've watched this whole series so far, and for those of you that are out there that are Trinity deniers, you know, I was asking you, what do you all have to say about what you just heard? For those of you out there that like to agree with Brian Dellinger, for those of you out there that believe that Brian Dellinger is right on his view of the Trinity, when he's not. So again, one last time folks, for all of you Trinity deniers out there, for all of you Trinity deniers out there, what do you have to say for yourselves? What do you have to say in regard to what you just heard from Peter Ruckman? You know, you know, the Trinity is not a pagan doctrine, it's not a Roman doctrine, it's a biblical fact. The Trinity, the doctrine of the Trinity, is clearly spoken of and taught all throughout the Holy Scriptures. All throughout the Blessed King James Holy Bible. The doctrine, the precious doctrine of the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, and the working in unity, is clearly taught all throughout Scripture in this Blessed King James Holy Bible. You can either accept that truth or continue to deny it and reject it. But if, you can, but if you continue to reject it, God will simply shut off the light and He will not use you. He'll put you on the shelf. If you're truly saved, that is. And yet you want to continue to believe Brian Dellinger, Dellinger's lies on this issue. So let's continue uh, listening to this audio here. And we're actually almost done with this audio. We're actually just about through with this audio segment by Dr. Ruckman. So let me go ahead and rewind it a little bit again. It's never called Jehovah. Let's see, yeah, that's this is yeah, this is the right spot I wanted to start off at again. So here we go. He is called Jesus Christ. And when he t says, I am, to the group, and applies to himself the name of Jehovah, I am, he lets us know that he's a member of the Trinity and co-equal with God. And he's co-equal with Jehovah. As a matter of fact, the tie of the term Lord of Lords and King of Kings is the Jehovah of Jehovah's in the book of, in the book of Revelation. But of course, that, again, this is dealing with the manifestation of Jehovah God the Father as the Son. And no time are you ever given two separate distinct gods. Nor at any time are the distinction of the Trinity muddled and lose their line of delineation. That is, it's a perfect enigma and a mystery which an unsaved man cannot understand. So everybody who teaches three created gods or two created gods, or only one god uh, with uh, one person and all have the same name, these people are unsaved people who cannot understand the word of God. See, did you just notice what you said there? <laughs> See, Peter Rubin understood this issue really well. He understood that there were two her heresies, and in, in basically, essentially, he understood that there were two big heresies on this issue, essentially. He understood you had the heresy over here where people were teaching that there are three gods, that each person, each member of the Trinity was a god was one God of its own. Or three. They, were, they were separate gods. So you had this teaching of uh, a plurality of gods, which is clearly heretical. The Bible teaches that the Lord is one one Lord. God is one God. But then you also, you also address the issue where you said the other heresy is teaching that there's one God and one and they're all one person. They're just, it's just one person with all the same names or 
three different names. But Peter Rutman was basically re refuting and repudiating both heresies. He was repudiating modalism, and he was also refuting the, the heresy of the teaching of that, that there was a, somehow a plurality of gods, three gods, or two gods, when the Bible does not teach that. The King James Holy Bible teaches one God, it teaches one God manifested in three distinct persons. And they all work together in unity, and they have communion, they have a relationship with one another. They, have, they partake, of, they have a, a close bond, a close relationship one with another. And they are one. They may be three distinct persons in the Godhead, in the Trinity, but they are still one. They're one in unity. One God manifested. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. That's Bible teaching, folks. That's not, there's nothing, nothing pagan about that. Nothing Romish about that. It's not a Roman Catholic doctrine. It's not a pagan doctrine. If you follow, if you follow for Brian Dellinger's lies, then repent. Stop following him. He's a liar. He's lying to you about what we at Trinitarians really believe. He doesn't. He doesn't represent we who are Trinitarians. He does not represent the Trinitarians truthfully. He lies about them. He slanders them, and he, and he lies about the Trinity. Don't fall for Brian Dellinger's lies anymore. Repent. Stop listening to him. Stop following his is what he calls ministry. And start listening to true Bible-believing Christians, true biblical ministries. That's what you need to do. So let's go ahead and close out this audio segment here before we conclude this message. Lose their line of delineation. That is, it's a perfect enigma and a mystery which an unsaved man cannot understand. So everybody who teaches three created gods or two created gods, only one god... Uh, with uh, one person and all have the same name, these people are unsaved people who cannot understand the Word of God. So according to Peter Rubin would, if he was still alive today and he knew about Brian Dellinger, I'm convinced that Peter Rubin would consider Brian Dellinger a lost man. I'm convinced of that. Because he basically said, unsaved people, they don't understand the Trinity. And Brian Dellinger, what Brian Dellinger teaches is one God with one person and they all have those three names. That's what Brian teaches. That's modalism. So Peter Rutman, if you were still if you were still alive today and he knew about Brian Dellinger, what he teaches, I believe Peter Rutman would consider Brian Dellinger as a lost man. The Bible says the natural as well as a heretic. Let's see here. All have the same name. These people are unsaved people who cannot understand the word of God. The Bible says the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolish unto him, neither can he know them, for they are spiritually discerned. All right, the Trinity acts in unity and glory. God the Father is to eventually receive the eternal kingdom, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. God the Son is the one who will change our vile body to one like his, Philippians 3.21. And God the Holy Spirit gives the invitation to Revelation 22.17. So, I think we're going to go ahead and um, stop the audio segment right there, brethren. And, uh, well, we're, I believe it's time for us to close out this segment. And, I, again, brethren, I do appreciate for, those, for all of those of you out there who have watched this whole series and that have, you know, put your comments down in the comment section there. And I appreciate your, your feedback, your input. And your questions, you know, if you have any, again, for those of you that have gotten through this whole series, if you do have, should you have any questions at all about this subject, please, again, please definitely leave it down, leave it down in the comments section below, and I'll be very, I'll be more than happy to read your questions and provide an answer. And if I don't know the answer, I'll take some time, I'll look, for, I'll search for it from the Word of God. And um, I'll make sure to get you an answer. So, and I also want to say too, brother, and I do apologize for taking me so long to finally get to the point where I can finish the series. It's just, 
as I, as I have explained before, I'm a very busy man. I, I work a lot. I work overtime at my job. And um, when you work in a, a facility, a group home facility, it can be very you know, tiring, very stressful, especially when you're pulling in overtime every week. So just please bear with me sometimes if I'm not putting out videos, you know, if I'm not putting out a lot of videos, because um, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm very busy, busy right now, busy with work, and, and I'll have a lot of paperwork to do as well. So again, I, just, I believe this, I pray that this video series on the Trinity, defending the biblical Trinity, the biblical Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, one God manifested in three distinct persons. I pray, brethren, that this biblical teaching on defending the biblical trinity is a help to you all out there. And I pray that it will also serve as a help to those who have been misled by Brian Dellinger. I pray that it would help to reach those and to help to open their eyes to see that they've been, they have been deceived by Brian Dellinger on this issue. I really, I really pray that for those of you out there that have followed Brian Dellinger, you you've been you know basically bewitched by Brian Dellinger. I pray for those that have watched this video. I pray that, that spell that Brian Dellinger has on you would be broken. I pray that the Lord would use this video series I have done defending the Trinity. I pray that the Lord would use this series to break that spell that Brian Dellinger has had on you folks. For those of you that still deny the Trinity, for those for those of you that still attack the Trinity and that attack we who are Trinitarians, and that you, you lie about us, I pray that the Lord would open your eyes about this issue and that you would start to see the truth in, about the Trinity, and how the, the, the God's Word does teach the biblical, you know, that God is a Trinity, that God is tri a triune God, that the doctrine of the Trinity is true. God manifested in three persons. Not just not one person, three persons. But one God. And I would also recommend, brethren, that you all also go do some searching for other good sermons defending the Trinity. Uh, Pastor Greg Miller up in Old Worthington, Ohio at Bible Believers Fellowship. He has put out some really good teachings defending the Trinity and also provided an answer and rebuttal to Brian Dellinger's lies and heretical claims made against, you know, heretical claims against the Trinity. Uh, Pastor Greg Miller has put out an, uh, an excellent video teaching against Brian Dellinger and where he, or Greg Miller clearly repudiates and refutes Brian Dellinger's lie, lies and, his, and uh, Brian Dellinger's heretical claims against the Trinity. So I definitely recommend you check out Pastor Greg Miller's uh, YouTube channel and check out his ministry website which is bbfohio.com and, and his, other, his other ministry website is bbfohioradio.com. So again, those two websites are the following, uh, bbfohio.com and also bbfohioradio.com. bbfohioradio.com is the, is the very website, one of the websites that I stamp on my gospel tracks. So very good brother in the Lord, very good Bible teacher. Uh, he's a good pastor, loves his flock, and um, he contends for the faith, he contends for the truth of God's Word, the, the blessed King James Holy Bible. And uh, he is sound, very sound in, the, in, in doctrine and in, in, in the faith. He's very sound in the doctrine of God's word and also in the faith. And another preacher I would recommend that you go and check out is Pastor Reg Kelly. He's a pastor up in Norwood, Missouri. And he's the pastor of Liberty Faith Bible Church. And his website is libertyfaith.net. He also is very strong in the Trinity. He defends the Trinity. He believes in the Trinity. The biblical you know, teaching of God manifested in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And so I, I trust that rather than that, that his ministry would also be a help to you. So again, look for other Bible believing Christians, brethren, that all that believe in the Trinity, that defend the Trinity, and that can help you understand this issue much better. And um, so praise God, praise the Lord. Um, again, thank you for watching and have a blessed, have a blessed night. Have a blessed weekend. All right. Keep serving the Lord, brother. Keep keep your hand on the plow. Keep serving the Lord. For the time is very short. And our Lord Jesus Christ is returning very soon. Amen.